Now, mm-hmm. saying that, before we move on, I mean, um, as on, maybe on the side of being a producer as opposed to being a recording artist, how did you learn about the industry, the business side, the publishing and, and, and all that side? How who, who who sort of taught you and it made, made you sure that you understood not just writer's credit, but making sure that you were getting what you owed? You were owed? Oh, I learned that a little bit too late. Right? <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! I, 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 no, I life, life got life got better. Let's just say, now the life got better later on, right? But as a, a young kid coming in a game, um, I didn't know as much as I know now. You know, um, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand uh publishing, and you know, I just wanted to be in the studio making records, and I was getting those advances, and not understanding what it what it mean what it meant to recoup and yeah. cross collateralizations and all of those other terms you know what yeah. I mean, but eventually, you know I figured it out and I will say you know I'm the I've been blessed enough to remain relevant and to have longevity where um I would on I can honestly say life made up for uh what I didn't know early on yeah now everyone doesn't have you know can't say that and it's been it's the horror stories but i i honestly can say that i stay in the game long enough um to fix things and to correct things and to make it right yeah i mean it it, it is I, I, after doing over 100 interviews it's been the worst type of thing to hear um and i think yeah. the only two people who have said that they knew what they were doing was um, Joyce Sims. I interviewed her two months before she died and she sort of read the book on how to make in the music industry. So when they try to t- take stuff out of her stuff, she said, well, well, I've read this. And so she kept her stuff. Um, Jay King, cause he knew everything. So he was really hard on everyone. So he, yeah. uh, um, but um, it, so that's, the, but then also take six, they um they got signed to in Nashville and they were offered a contract that country music artists sign and which was pretty much like yeah you you know hey go get your lawyer make sure they read everything and stuff so they were taken care of so but anyone else it it, it unfortunately they did the same Carl West said the same thing it's when you're making so much money early on that you don't recognize that there's so much more that you weren't getting and and that yeah. seems to be a shame for our black artists in our community where yes. we're just taking from ourselves and 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 really stifling our own talent any yeah. thoughts as to why you you know coming into the game and looking back as to why people aren't as um willing to help like okay well, i'll get you in but i'm gonna t- you know I, but i also want to teach you you know edf is the one person that everyone says really says here's all the stuff make sure you take care of this stuff but very few are like that. Oh, okay. Who else was there? Um, Queen Latifah's mum was like that with KG. He, they, they said they taught them everything to make sure that they got their stuff. But any ideas of why you think within the industry that black artists don't seem to look out for their their own? Um, because people are greedy. That's mm-hmm. all, you know. And and they don't have they don't always have integrity. Um, so I just think that is 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 a disservice to our community um because i think we have a responsibility to teach um and to look out for each other more and to generate wealth within our community um so i just think we have to do better mm-hmm. with protecting each other um and educating you know and and it's also important that you know the bible says that you know we perish for the lack lack of knowledge right yeah. So sometimes we have to you sometimes you get what you know or you uh you you don't get you, you, you know you know what I'm saying so you have to read you have to ask the questions because you got to understand when you take in kids out of urban communities and you putting them in situations where they you can they can move their moms out of the projects tomorrow you know what mm-hmm. I mean they're going to go for that million dollar carrot that's being flashed in front of their eyes and without understanding the cost of that carrot, yeah. you know, at the end of the day. So we have to do better 
by mentoring and sharing the information and just making sure we protect each other. Yeah. You you mentioned um, Hiram Hicks, and most of us would remember him from his role with New Edition um, yes. and stuff. How So what at the, at the time we found you, what was his role? What was he doing? And then he, that, that he decided to bring you on board. Well, well, Hiram was was met when when I first uh, learned of Hiram Hicks. I know he was doing the new edition, BBD, all of that kind of stuff. And like I said, he was managing the um, Doctor Freeze and uh, Spider Man, right? Freeze and Spider Man. And then he took me on and started managing, um, started managing my career. And 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 as he grew in the business, he made sure that he created opportunities and. Mm-hmm. And he would send the elevator back down, as I often say. Wow. So when Hiram became the president of Island Black Music, he gave me my first A and R job. Okay, you know, and taught me the game and the business and how to maneuver and how to work things out. And so, yeah, is that I, when I, the penny dropped? When you said, "Oh, so this is publishing in advance in perpetuity"? <laughs> Absolutely, because. He was creating opportunities and giving me uh, production deals. And back in those days, Namdi, we, we talking about six figure production deals, you know. And I have never seen that kind of money in my life. But he would explain how it would work and why I would need to do such and such and such, and and what it really meant in long term. So he was definitely an amazing advisor and a mentor, even wow. to this day. Wow. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel, but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Half Time Chat. Ooh.